Hello and welcome back to Tip TV Finance with me, Matt Brown, and I'm joined today by Paul Smith, who is CEO of the Morses Club. How are you today, Paul? Very well. Delighted to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, right, starting off for our viewers and potential investors out there, Morses Club. Just explain who you are, what you do, and where you operate. Pleasure. Um, we are a home collect credit organisation, uh, been in existence for 130 years, and uh, quite literally, we visit people's homes. Uh, we arrange loans for those customers and then we return each week to collect the repayments on those loans. Uh, this year we have taken our first diversification step into online lending mm -hmm. for a different part of the UK demographic, but principally our core business has been centred around that home issuance and home collection. So a very simple model. Absolutely simple. So investors can understand exactly what you do, how you do it and, and how you make your profits from that. Precisely. And I, I think that it's the how we do it bit which really sets us apart from the rest of the market. Mm -hmm. um, the way in which we've embraced technology uh, over the past couple of years has meant that we've really taken home collect credit into the 21st century. Uh, we've made it a paperless environment. Uh, we've made uh, tremendous efficiency gains within our organisation, lowered costs, but really improved the customer experience as well. Good stuff. And um, full year results out in... April, just gone. Talk us through the, the key points of those results. Revenue up by 10%, uh, uh, our loan book up by 8%. Mm -hmm. uh, we've introduced uh, efficiencies into the model uh, and reduced our admin costs by uh, an efficiency rate of about 9%. Um, so you can really see that the strategy of the board in terms of embracing technology, uh, and our technology is tablet-based technology, so we have 2,000 agents in the field, uh, managed by uh, a whole team of managers across 10 regions, UK-wide, uh, covering ev every single um, aspect of the UK market. And it's really been by introducing that technology, embedding workflows into the system that make us robust and compliant as far as the regulations are concerned, mm -hmm. that have helped us to lower costs, make our agents and our employees uh, happier uh, with their working life, but also give the, the customer a faster, more enjoyable experience than was the case when we used to have to fill out uh, reams and reams of paper. Mm. Everyone loves paper and admin, don't they? Absolutely. So if you can make that a lot more simpler, it makes obviously the company more efficient and correct. the customer experience a, a better one. Absolutely okay. correct. And you mentioned diversification. So um, what areas are you looking now to diversify? Well, the, the home collect credit market is populated by 1.8 million consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, but the wider uh, non-standard part of the market is actually 10 million consumers strong. So there's an incremental 8.2 million customers, potential customers there for Morse's Club to embrace. The majority of those customers use online services, so they would take loans from companies that uh, advertise on, on the web, uh, that do not receive a visit to their home address, mm -hmm. and, and they also cover things like um, credit cards, uh, uh, motor uh, loans, guarantor loans, and so on and so forth. So our diversification strategy is to invest in technology once mm -hmm. and to build a solid platform for our credit issuance and then to use that same springboard to enter other parts of the market. So in the past 12 months, we made an acquisition of Shelby Finance, mm -hmm. uh, which was an online lender. Uh, that bought us the ability to start to issue loans uh, from the internet. Uh, so we started trading that company in March 2017. Uh, we're all already making good inroads into that market and experiencing what it's like uh, to be operating in, mm -hmm. in that field. Um, so as we get to grips with that part of the market and start to experience growth and profitability from that, we will then use that as the next springboard to go on to the next part of the market and the next product and the next uh, set of ancillary services for our customers. You've all, so we've covered the growth areas of the company. Um, also looking at income as an income stock for investors. Uh, talk, talk us through your dividend payment regime? Yeah, so uh, this year uh, we've uh, announced a, a total dividend uh, across uh, the interim and the full year of 6.4 pence, uh, which mm -hmm. constitutes a 59% uh, payout of profits. Uh, so I, I think that our shareholders will be very satisfied with that, particularly uh, as we've grown as an organisation as well, and we're also growing by diversification. Uh, so we're in the happy position uh, where we can boast uh, the attributes of a high yielding stock with a, a growth stock as well. Super. And for investors looking ahead for 2017, 
what key areas or, or what can investors look out for or expect from, from Morses Club? They can expect to see our core business of home collect credit grow. Uh, they can start to see that becoming um, a, a bigger organisation uh, in general, but, but also a more profitable and a more efficient organisation as we really start to drive out the benefits of the technology investment. You can also expect to see growth in our online lending platform, which operates under the brand of dot dot loans dot com. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you can start to expect uh, more diversification from us in terms of ancillary benefits for our customers. So we're very attuned uh, to the available budgets in our customers' households mm -hmm. and how we can help them to budget within their households and make their money go further. So you can expect to see us uh, start to introduce products and services that will genuinely help our customers to save money. Okay. And you're based mainly in the UK or entirely in the UK? U UK, including Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm. uh, so we operate from uh, 100 uh, branch offices and we have our head office uh, based in Leeds. That's fantastic. So there's, there's no um, economic risk of, of operating, say, in Europe or America. You are solely UK based and, and with that, I assume, it's very easy to manage and hedge your costs on that basis. You're, you're absolutely correct. We're not exposed to uh, any financial uh, vagaries uh, brought about by currency exchange uh, or by international trade. We're a purely domestic operation. Superb. And your dividend yield is, is quite high, I believe. 6.4 pence. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the dividend payments when you uh, account for the interim and the full year, mm -hmm. uh, and that constitutes a 59% uh, pay down from profits. Fantastic. And uh, the valuation of the company, obviously, we, we've touched on being a growth stock um, and an income stock with the dividend there. How do you see the market valuing the company at the moment? Do you see the market valuation as, as being undervalued? I, I do, and, and of course you'd expect me to say that, but, but that is the consensus of many of the analysts that actually follow the stock. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess that if you take account of the fact that we, uh, we came to market exactly one year ago, and at the time of, uh, of doing our IPO, we were given no credit for the future strategy uh, for growth, which, which is quite common and acceptable. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're now starting to see, or the market is starting to see, that we've actually delivered uh, on parts of that strategy. And they're actually now starting to translate through to the P&L account. So at last we're starting to get some credit back from the market uh, for those things that we said that we would deliver. Uh, however, we still haven't caught pace yet uh, with the true valuation of the company. So I still think for people investing today that there is uh, a significant amount of headroom in the stock. Super. Um Next key date coming up, think something to look out for for investors invested in, into Morse's Club? I, I think that you can expect to see us announcing uh, the fact that we are embarking on a strong phase of growth and we'll be announcing how we're going to finance that growth uh, and what broadly what you can expect to see at the interim position this year. Fantastic. So lots to look out for there. Uh, the Stock ticker is MCL.L, I believe, listed in London. So investors, if you are interested, please go and look up Morse's Club. This has been Paul Smith, CEO of Morse's Club. Thank you very much for joining us Thank today. you.